Hi guys, I hope you're all well. This is another Happy We Talks video. As you can tell from the subject or the title of this video, it's quite a serious one. Um, and it's one I feel very, very strongly about. Um, so, last week, last weekend, I went to my cousin's wedding and I was wearing a white bridesmaid gown. And I was wearing all white. Um, and I put a picture on Instagram and it was this picture, I'll probably insert it in the video right now. And this picture has resulted to so much unneeded, shocking and disappointing uh, backlash that I really did not expect at all. First of all, I want to talk to you a little bit about something called tanning and basically when you are under sun your skin becomes darker just in case you didn't know um, I went to Malaysia, Turkey and Lebanon in the span of two to three months I was under very hot sun for the whole time and so my skin did become darker than it is when I'm in the UK because it's very cold. So people decided to express their alarm at my um, skin tone change underneath my photos. Keep in mind, I have tanned um, greatly while I'm on holiday. It doesn't show as much on camera as it does in real life. Also, I was wearing full white. I used flash on the photo and it was in a dim place so I did look a little bit more warmer and than I actually look in real life. I didn't put a filter on that photo or any of the photos from the wedding or anything. I'm not trying to claim anything. All I'm saying is I was tanned, I put a photo up and then came a flow of over 700 comments that I'm going to be talking about in this video. First of all, I'm very disappointed because most of my followers are Muslim and most of the comments that were coming was why are you so dark, you look ugly. I have loads of African and black followers on my social media and I find this so disturbing that Arabs and South Asians, Middle Eastern people in general, find it okay to be so racist. And most of you guys are Muslim. I'm getting comments with the N-word. I am getting comments, why are you so dark? God did not create you like that. First of all, hold on a minute. God created uh, the sun, right? He created us, right? People walk under the sun and get tanned. If I actually lived in any of my mother countries, I would be that colour. Why is it such a problem for me to be darker? Why am I suddenly seen as ugly because I'm darker? I don't take this offensively for myself at all. I take it as an offence for our ummah. This is... I find it like a slap in the face of our ummah and a slap in the face of us as Muslims, who we claim as Muslims, to be so racist. Some people are saying it's not racism, but when you're getting people commenting, why are you so dark? Dark does not suit you. Dark isn't nice. why are you black? You've changed races. It just makes you think that actually there is a problem here, there is racism here, and it needs to be addressed. There's so many people in the Middle East that have grown up with ignorant families, that have grown up with ignorant families, that have grown up with ignorant families, and it's gone on for decades and it's gone on for centuries, where they're grown up in, a, in between families that see darker skin as ugly and lighter skin as beautiful. This needs to break. We're in 2015 now. Whether, whatever country you're from, whether you're from the UK, whether you're from Lebanon, whether you're from Saudi Arabia, whether you're from any country in the world, these ideologies need to break free. What makes me so sad, especially about the Arabic community, is the fact that we have every colour as Arabs. We have Sudanese people, we have Lebanese people, we have every single colour. But yet, Arabs, I feel, can be the most racist people, especially Arabs from back home, which really hurts me. 
And the thing is, sometimes I feel like I can't even blame Arabs individually. I can't even blame people individually because this mindset is one that has been kind of knocked into people's heads from time. From a very, very long time. And it's very disappointing, very, very disappointing. Like, I'm going to read out some of the comments that I got on the picture because I think some people need to realise what is going on here. Here you look like a N-word. I can't, some comments I just can't even read out, like, the, it's that bad. Someone was actually saying to me, what I'm doing is haram because I'm changing what God, what Allah has given me. I don't understand this. I don't, I actually don't comprehend this because Allah made me who I am. Allah made me get dark in the sun. And if I lived in Lebanon or Brazil, that's the skin tone I would be. I wouldn't be the, the skin tone that you typically see on me. So I don't understand how you're saying to me, I'm changing what Allah did to me. It doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, we all need to understand that beauty is not skin deep. And it will never be skin deep. And I always try to say this in all of my Habiba Talks videos, especially ones about self-esteem. Beauty is not justified by how your mouth looks, by how your nose looks, by how your cheeks looks, by how your eyes look, by what well, by your skin tone, beauty is justified by you on the inside, by your soul. At the end of the day, this body that you are in is something you've borrowed from God. It's not even yours. Who you are in reality is the soul that's inside. The way you treat people, the way you carry yourself, the way you... <sighs> The way you act in certain circumstances is what makes you beautiful. I just want to remind you guys this. Whenever you feel like you want to insult someone on their outer appearance, please remember that their inner, inner self is probably a thousand times. Sit back, humble yourself, and remember what the Prophet says and remember what is said in our religion. Don't understand, what do you get? from saying a bad racist comment or commenting on someone's appearance, what are you getting out of it? It's stupid and it's silly and it's immature and it just, you know, sometimes I look through these comments and I think, did your parents ever, ever teach you manners, ever? Like, honestly, did you ever get taught any manners at all? Because from your comments, it seems like you have absolutely no manners. I, honestly, you know, when I was reading this, I was thinking, I actually felt my heart sink. Like, I was thinking, what kind of world am I going to bring my children into? What kind of world and community am I bringing my children into? What kind of community are our children growing into? It's really depressing. I felt so depressed. I felt disappointed. I felt like it's something that I had to speak about and some of you guys have actually messaged me to speak about it. Another thing that kind of upset me a little bit, a lot of people were messaging me saying to me, Habiba don't worry you're still beautiful, don't forget about what the, these people are saying. Hold on a second. The actual point in all of this is not what I look like. I don't care what they're saying about how I look like. What I care about is the fact that they're being racist and they're justifying it. And they're trying to justify it at not be, as not being racism. But you're here telling me, don't worry, you're still pretty. That's not what I'm fussed about at all. That's not what's important. What's important is straightening out these bent minds. That's what's important. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. As always, these videos are all from my heart. I have not planned anything. I'm just saying it out. And I'm upset. Like, I actually feel like, do you know that tight feeling in your heart, in your chest? That's how I feel right now. I'm just really upset by the little mindedness and how some people can call themselves Muslims yet the racism is insane. It's beyond me. But anyway, may Allah guide us all, may God guide us all, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, whether whatever you believe in, may 
you be guided and maybe grow inside much more than we grow on the outside and yeah I hope you all have a great week I know I've been uploading a lot of videos really quickly recently I just I'm gonna get quite busy very soon so I thought I would film as much and upload as much as soon as I can but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I'm feeling very upset like I actually feel upset like I could cry literally that's how upset I feel and I'm gonna remind you guys once more I don't feel upset that people are calling me ugly that's I don't I don't give a crap about that I really don't give a shit about that what I care about is the fact that people are justifying being racist so easily it's really upsetting anyway I will see you guys in my next video I hope you enjoyed this if you have any other Habiba Talks video recommendations please put it in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys soon bye